All right, everyone. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to the stream. Huh. For as long as it can stay live, I guess. Um, damn. After yesterday... You know, after yesterday, I am tired. I mean, seriously, and, and just being honest here. Yesterday really stressed me the hell out. And I'm not too happy about it. I'm still not too happy about it because I haven't gotten any real satisfaction about the whole situation. Um, you know, like, I'm just pretty, I'm pretty upset. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, let's talk a little bit about everything that the hell is going on here. This is pretty crazy. Alright, so first of all, today is Saturday, the 18th of July, 2020. And you may say, well, it's just business as usual. I wish. <laughs> I really do. I wish this were business as usual, and I wish that today we could just have a normal streaming day. Uh, I really do. But I, I don't know what's going to happen today. Because it seems like, sadly, much like Twitter, which for two months on Twitter, I haven't been able to have a profile picture. I haven't been able to have a channel banner. I haven't been able to have anything. All right. Um, because of false DMCA takedowns and copyright troll issues. Okay. And so, you know, it's pretty messed up. The whole situation is so messed up. Okay. Um, yesterday, I get, sadly, um, uh, uh, threatened in the morning from the same guy who's been taking down my Twitter with false claims, saying, oh, I'm going to have more copyright issues today. Okay? Now, of course, I don't know what that means. That could mean anywhere. It could mean on Twitter. It could mean I have so many different things. You know, YouTube, uh... Twitch, who knows, right? Um, so I'm streaming yesterday, and yesterday was a huge new release day, a double new release day, which is one of the biggest days for me as, as a live streamer. You know, I get to play two new releases in one day. It's outstanding. It's amazing. It's awesome. You know, I love that. So, Ghost of Tsushima, which you guys can see right now on the screen on my PS4 dashboard, one of the best PS4 interactive dashboard themes in the entire run of the console, in my opinion. And... Paper Mario and the Origami King. Alright? So we start to play Ghost of Tsushima. I play for about an hour. And the game is really good so far. You know, I'm still in the intro segment. But everything I've seen has been great. And then my channel gets suspended. In the middle of my stream for no reason. Okay? And when the, reason, the, the, the reason that I say no reason is because I received no reason from Twitch. I didn't get a notification at all. I didn't get an email. I didn't get a pop-up message. Nothing. It just says, you are suspended. So, following along with the pop-ups that happen when you do get suspended, I get to the page where you can submit a help request, and I submit a help request saying, why the hell am I suspended? You didn't send me any information, so I can't figure out if this is a temporary suspension, if this is a permanent suspension. You know what I mean? Oh, and by the way, I have to update this. We are at Vestry 190. I didn't update that last night. Let me do that. Um, you know, I don't know what's going on. And... Live streaming is my livelihood, guys. Live streaming is my one and only job. It's a full-time job. And it's how I make my living. So to shut me down like that with zero explanation, in my opinion, is incredibly un unprofessional. And, you know, the fact that I have no avenue to really figure it out is pretty messed up. So all day yesterday, we were speculating, as I did random live streams on YouTube, we were speculating what the hell could have happened. And so many people were speculating different things. Well... Once again, this asshole uh, who did the false claims against my Twitter and had threatened me in the morning about copyright keeps posting up publicly, keeps incriminating themselves, and says, oh, I think this might be what it is, and posted up a picture of crowns, little crown icons, all right? Now, we were on stream last night, and we were trying to figure out what was DMCA claimed. And the only thing I can figure out is that my subscriber badge icons are little crowns. All right, little 8-bit crowns. Those were designed by my moderator. All right, years ago. We're talking like three years ago. Those were designed by my moderator. They weren't stolen from anywhere or taken from anywhere. He took a lot of time and effort to make those for the channel. Okay? And they are 100% you know, his property, and then, <laughs> and
And then, um, you know, you know, that being said, um, it, what can you do? So I guess what happened is this guy posted up a picture of other crown icons from the internet. And admittedly, they kind of look similar to the ones that we use here on the channel, but they're not the same. They're definitely not the same. They're different. You can tell they're not exactly the same. Okay. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. We're going to see what happens here because this is bullshit. The, the, it, how can you issue a takedown for something that's not the same? I could see if, like, it was a blatant, okay, I stole it off the internet and I'm using it, obviously, on my channel. Even then, it's kind of a gray area, but it's not even the same icon. So whoever reviewed this DMCA takedown request over at Twitch and actually granted it is a fucking moron. Just saying that publicly. I don't give a fuck. They're a fucking moron. You can look at the two and see that they were different. They weren't the same icon. Okay? They weren't. So, whoever granted it is a complete asshole, a complete unprofessional moron, and it should not have been granted. Okay? And the thing is, I guarantee you guys that I have had tons of false claims against my channel before. I've been streaming on Twitch since 2013, although I did take about a two-year hiatus, and then I came back. I guarantee you there have been a ridiculous amount of false claims against my channel that have never been granted. Why this one was granted, I have no clue. It doesn't make any sense. There's no validity to the claim. It's You know what I mean? It's just complete stupidity. Okay? So, seven and a half hours, my channel is suspended, and all we can look, we're trying to figure it out ourselves because I never got a notification about what happened. We think it's these chat crown icons... Uh, excuse me, the sub badge icons that got me suspended because that's what's missing from the channel. Everything else is still here. But in the meantime, I said, I can't risk it anymore. I seriously can't risk any kind of issues against my channel. So what did I do? I deleted all my archived videos. I disabled the ability to make clips on the channel. I deleted all the clips from the channel that had ever been made. Okay. I deleted, you know, the, as you can see, I, I'm not using fan art anymore. I'm because it's like this is so ridiculous. Now this sucks. You know, fan art was very important. It was it, it, an interesting part of the stream, and it advertised. It was a way to advertise without me verbally advertising to you guys. You could at least see what was available there. Now, how is anyone going to know about my Patreon? How is anyone going to know about this stuff if I can't run those, right? So this is fucking bullshit, and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of businesses erroneously penalizing me for things I didn't fucking do. And there's somehow no recourse for me. Right? There's no restitution or recourse for me. I lost seven and a half hours of streaming time yesterday. Yet there's nothing I can do about it. Because Twitch just decides to grant an erroneous legal claim. With no actual evidence of anything. And I have no way to go about fixing the problem. <clears throat> right? What is this bullshit? So anyway. Yesterday, we're all here live on stream on, on YouTube, actually. We were, we were streaming and going through my Twitch channel trying to figure this shit out. And my Twitch channel gets unsuspended. Okay, I get an email from Twitch support. You were suspended because of a DMCA claim. If you want to file a counterclaim, you should file it here. And by the way, if you can continuously get more claims, we may shut down your channel, is what it says. Okay, all right. So I respond and I say, well, I would love to do a counterclaim, but you haven't told me what was claimed. Also, I have evidence from Twitter of someone who is saying they're doing this, and I, I've sent them the evidence. I sent them the tweets. I said, please escalate this to management. This obviously is not legitimate. I receive another generic reply, just go ahead and file the DMCA counterclaim. And I responded again, I cannot do that because you still have not told me what was claimed. You've sent me no information about what was claimed. I can't counterclaim this. You need to help me. And then they closed my fucking help log. I'm serious. They didn't mark it as resolved. They just closed it. So whoever works there at Twitch support is also a fucking idiot. You don't read the actual body of the messages, nor do you help people. You just close logs. That's not customer support. All right? I've dealt with terrible customer support before with many companies. And again, you know, this happens. I'm tired of it, all right? I am. I'm absolutely tired of being treated poorly by companies, and I'm not going to put up with this shit. I'm not I'm telling you guys. Like, I'm at my wit's end right now. 
with dealing with this unprofessional fucking nonsense. All right. So then I said, well, gee, maybe if I submit a whole new log again against something, maybe someone else will review it and actually help me. And I go to do this last night, and guess what happens? I guess at some point, Twitch considers it outside of business hours. And when this happens, the Twitch support website stops loading. I'm not even kidding you. You can't even get, you try to go to it. It just infinitely loops and says, oh, page error, page error. It won't load. I had to wait till this morning. And this morning, when it's normal business hours for them again, the site starts working again. (laughs) So I submitted a, a log this morning. And I said, all right. Please tell me what was DMCA claim so I can issue a formal counterclaim because I can't do that without you telling me. And apparently it's in there now. We'll see if it gets assigned or whatever. All right. Um, In the meantime, I've been threatened again. The same exact guy who did this yesterday threatened me publicly on Twitter again and says, oh, there's more copyright stuff coming. So what could it be? I have no idea. I've deleted all the videos. There's no more pre-stream artwork, right? So all I can think of, you know, there's two, uh, two sub badges left, that and these are the Regal Crown sub badges, and again, these are a hundred percent made by my moderator. These are not stolen from anywhere. <clears throat> all right, maybe that'll be ta- maybe those will be claimed. I don't know. You know, I have over forty emotes. Every single one of those emotes is original and not stolen from anywhere. Maybe one of those will be falsely claimed. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen at this point. But it's like, what am I going to do? Turn everything off? Of course not. Just turn off every piece of content on the channel? Like, this is ludicrous. Now, what do I do? What recourse do I have and what protection do I have? Apparently none. Because I don't have a contact to Twitch anymore. I, I, you know, found this out the hard way. I used to have a direct line of contact with Twitch. Back in 2017 and 2018, I had a person who I could contact to Twitch and talk with about issues. And there was a couple times there when Twitch originally changed their their streaming rules to be more strict, where I got in trouble with their guidelines of what was allowed on streams. And I hate that the, the, the dashboard theme goes away. You notice that, right? I hate that. I want it to stay forever, and it's timing out, and I have to move it to see it again. Um, but yeah, like I had a direct line of contact, and I had someone who I was talking to about these issues, and I actually had a, a call, phone call with the guy at one point and everything. Um, but I haven't had any issues on Twitch in over two and a half years. The last time, well, the last time I actually had an issue was early 2018. And then in, in late 2018, I, I sent a message to the guy and had a very short dialogue about how I had been basically blacklisted from the sponsored streaming program here on Twitch because of trolls harassing the companies who had put up the sponsorship opportunities. Okay? But outside of that... Um, I haven't talked to the guy in, you know, over two years. So now I go to talk to him and he doesn't exist. His account's like basically dead. It's, he never comes online. There's no more profile icon. It's obvious that probably this guy doesn't even work for Twitch anymore. So I have no contact at Twitch. I have no way to contact them besides the support desk that closes my logs and doesn't properly respond to them with any kind of help. And I don't know what else to do. I'm not exaggerating when I say, guys, today I'm probably going to get suspended again. I would guarantee it that I'm doing absolutely nothing wrong. And I guarantee you there's going to be more false DMCA claims against me. Um, You know, this is so ridiculous. What am I supposed to do? Apparently nothing. Apparently I'm just supposed to sit here and take it even though this is my business. You know, apparently I'm just supposed to fucking sit here. And, and, and be abused, essentially, you know, by, by lawbreakers, because it is, it's illegal to do what this guy is doing, but apparently no one wants to go after him, no company cares, and they just grant you know, false thing after false fucking thing, and I'm tired of it, you know, already I had it on Twitter, and it's like, okay, it's annoying on Twitter to not have a picture or whatever, but at least the Twitter's still open, I can make a backup, it's not a big deal, but this is my livelihood, this is where I make my money, this is how I pay my bills, this is how I provide for my fucking family i'm not gonna have this threatened and ruined because number one there's someone out there breaking the law on a daily basis and publicly touting that he's doing it and no one's doing anything about it and number two the company is so unprofessional they don't have any avenue for me to report this or get it handled okay i'm i'm incredibly frustrated you can sure you can hear it in my voice about how angry i am about this situation okay um 
So, here's the deal. Today, we're going to try to have a normal stream. I want to play Ghost of Tsushima, I, or Tsushima. I am furious that I didn't get to yesterday. My wife played it more than me, and she was working most of the day. She played it more than me and says she loves the game. She can't wait for me to play more of it because she really likes it. I'm like, damn, I really want to play this fucking game today. I hope we get to play this game today. All right, but I don't know how long I'm going to get to play the game because of this nonsense. Okay, um, we'll see. I hope we can have a full gameplay stream because I need it. I need to play a great game and relax and have a good time with you guys. I do. I can't have this kind of fucking constant stress of horse shit going on. You know, now here's the thing. If this stream goes down again, you'll know exactly what's going on today. It's not like yesterday where we were all in the dark. You guys will 100% know it's a false copyright takedown. Okay? You'll know what's going on. If this happens again, all I can do, sadly, is issue another help log and say, I know it's another false takedown. All right? Um... And, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. Please unsuspend my account and tell me what's going on so I can do a counterclaim. All right? In the meantime, we know what's going to happen. Le yesterday, it took seven and a half hours for them to respond to the help log. So if I get suspended again today, there's no way I can stream again on Twitch today. So what we'll do is we'll do what we did yesterday. We'll go over to YouTube again, to my YouTube channel, DSP Gaming. I will stream there, and we will talk about options of leaving Twitch. And I don't want to do that. I love streaming here on Twitch. I love being here. I love the community that I have built. The fact that overwhelming amount of support that I get on a daily basis here is amazing. But I cannot have a business in jeopardy. It's a legally registered fucking business that I operate on this channel. And it's in jeopardy of being shut down and basically destroyed. Because this company will not do the proper legal things to protect me. So, there's nothing I can do besides try to figure out something else. Alright? So, that's what we're doing today. I'm going to try to stream, and hopefully we have a normal good stream. And, you know, hopefully this is the end of it. But, if I continuously am having these co these copyright issues, then there's nothing I can do. I have to move on. Um, and we're going to have to talk about alternatives. Whether it's streaming on YouTube whether it's streaming on another company, you know, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. what I honestly don't know what's out there because I've had such a good experience with Twitch. I've never even had to, to, to consider leaving Twitch to go somewhere else, but I can't have my stream shut down every day by a troll because Twitch is a bunch of fucking unprofessional people who will not handle this seriously. I just can't do it. Now, I've already to let, you know tweeted about this and said anyone out there who has any contact at Twitch or has any way to talk to them about it to help me, please help me. Same thing I'm going to say to you guys. If any of you out there have a direct contact with Twitch TV who I can talk to about this to try to get it solved, please send me that information. Email me, darksidefillahotmail.com. Tweet me, at they call me DSP. I need help. I can't have this keep happening every day. I can't, all right? And I'm fed up. I mean, I'm like, I'm super stressed now. Like, I, yesterday was supposed to be a day that was going to be a super exciting, positive, fun day because of two new releases. And instead, it ended up being one of the most stressful fucking days for me. At the end of the day, my wife comes home from work. I'm like, I just got out of the office. I've been in that office all fucking day. And I didn't play any fun games. You know, I didn't get to do anything because of this shit. And I'm so angry and upset about it because of what? Some fucking idiot. Who I don't know who the fuck they are. And the guy's a sociopath. He thinks it's funny to get away with this shit. He doesn't get anything out of it. He just thinks it's fucking funny. And no one will go after this guy. Despite the fact that he's hurt so many people. No company goes after him. They know he filed ridiculous amounts of false claims. But no one goes after him. <clears throat> so I don't even know what else to do. You know? I'm, I am. I'm at my wit's end here, guys. Um... I'm hoping that we have a good day. I'm hoping that we have a fun stream and that I'm allowed to, to continue to do uh, what we do. All right? So, all right. So here's the deal. Here's what I want to do today. The first stream will be Ghost of Tsushima. I, I want to play this game. I only played an hour of it, and I barely got anywhere in it. I was having a lot of fun. All right? 
So, let's try to see if we can play it. All right? I want to have a good time. I, and again, thank you guys yesterday for putting up with the fact that I couldn't play it. I couldn't upload anything. There was, you know, there was no point. I had one video. There was no point in uploading an hour of the intro. I'm just, like I said, I'm going to wait till I play more before I upload to YouTube or whatever. All right? So. <clears throat> so. I am Razor. That was not my Twitch contact. That's, boy, you're stupid. So people just blatantly and stupidly believe the tractor shit. So apparently at some point, people were, I guess, tweeting Twitch, uh, yelling about me, screaming that they wanted me banned from Twitch. This is a long time ago. And I guess someone who worked for Twitch responded to it or something. And because of that, these idiots all believe that this guy was my Twitch contact. I've never talked to that guy. I don't know who the fuck that guy is at all. I've never heard of him. <laughs> that was not my Twitch contact. You so gullible. You just believe anything. That never, I've never spoken with that person. I know nothing about them. You know, stop being so dumb. <clears throat> okay, so I'm hoping to have a full stream of Ghost of Tsushima. We'll see what happens here. All right, later tonight, if I'm still here and not suspended, all right, for false horseshit, I would like to play Paper Mario and the Origami King. I wanted to play it yesterday, and I didn't get to play it. So the late stream tonight, starting around 6.45 p.m., will be Paper Mario and the Origami King. It's going to be the same schedule for the next three days. Today, tomorrow, Sunday, and Monday. Same exact schedule all three days. Ghost of Tsushima on the first stream, Mario on the late stream. Okay? <clears throat> on Tuesday, I'm off from streaming. I will not be streaming at all on Tuesday. Okay? Um, I will be back on Wednesday... And on Wednesday, the main stream will either be Ghost of Tsushima or Paper Mario. And the late stream will probably be one of my chill games. Maybe either Animal Crossing or like Fire Emblem. And then the same thing on Thursday, where it's going to be in the morning, I'm going to be covering the Microsoft press conference. They're going to be doing the Xbox Series X presentation at 9 a.m. So what we'll do is together here, we'll watch that together at 9 a.m. live on the stream. I'll host it. We'll watch it all together. I'll take notes. After that, I'll immediately do my recap and reaction session, uh, much like I used to do with the E3 stuff. And we'll do that. And then, right after that, I will do a gameplay stream. And it'll more than likely, again, either be Ghost of Tsushima or Paper Mario. Okay? Thursday night, again, I'll do one of my late night uh, chill stream sessions. More than likely, some Deadly Premonition 2 that day. All right? Then on Friday, <clears throat> um, you know, same thing. Uh, where it'll be... A, well, actually, I take that back. If everything keeps going fine and I can keep streaming, all right, and we keep the vest streak going, what that means is hitting the tip scroll every stream, all right, and the vest streak continues, then if you do the math, you got today, tomorrow, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, that's uh, five, uh, 10 streams, which means the vest streak will have hit 200. So as long as all of that happens, which there's no guarantee it's going to happen now with all this crap going on, then on Friday, it's the 200 Vestry Celebration. During this event, there's going to be many special things going on, including uh, I'll be debuting something new to the streams. In addition, we'll have a segment where I ha we hang out with my cat Jasper. All right, there'll be a fun Q&A session. Also, there'll be a live episode of DSP Tries It, where I'm going to be trying something new, and I have many different options, including things like the Popeye's Chicken Sandwich, the mini tacos and sriracha burger at Jack in the Box, the frosty chino over at Wendy's, among other things. There's many options for me to consider what I want to do as the live DSP tries it, okay? And we're going to be going through the gaming schedule for the rest of the year, and I'm going to be telling you what games are coming out and what I'm interested in playing so that we can kind of populate a rough schedule so you guys know kind of what to expect, all right, <clears throat> coming up for the rest of the year. All right, now, of course, this only is going to happen on Friday if we hit a 200 vest streak. I don't know if we're going to, especially now that we have no idea if my streams are going to be able to continue because of these false horseshit that's happening against me, okay? So, let's hope for the best, but if as long as things go good, well, this will happen on Friday, and then Friday night is going to be my weekly throwback Street Fighter session, um, and then all, the whole weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, again, it'll be more Ghost of Tsushima or Paper Mario on the first stream, and I will pair that, <clears throat> I will pair that. Um, with, hold on a second, 
Okay. We'll pair that with late night fun stuff like Animal Crossing, Deadly Premonition 2, and uh, Fire Emblem. Okay? Okay, guys. That's the schedule. If I'm allowed to stream. Now, also, right now we've got a viewer's choice event going on where you guys are nominating games for a viewer's choice event. Um, I'm going to try. Who knows what's going to happen this weekend? See what I mean? Like, I'm so discombobulated and stressed. I have no idea what's going to happen this weekend. I really don't. But if things keep going normally, all right, then I'm going to take all your nominations and I'm going to make a poll out of it so you guys can start voting on what game you want to see as the viewer's choice game. The game that wins will be a full playthrough here on streams, probably starting in the month of August, okay? Now, how do you do that? How do you nominate? Type exclamation point viewer's choice into the stream chat to bring up the link to do it. And FYI, like I said, if things go according to plan, you only have about one or two days left to do that, all right? And then the poll is going to go live, and then you guys can start voting. I'll give you the information on that once that poll is actually live. Fair enough? There it is. Okay, good. Someone typed it, and it did work. The viewer's choice link popped up. Thank God. I, I was wondering, oh, God, because I was suspended. Does that mean that the Nightbot commands don't work and stuff? But no, it worked. So that's good. Phew. All right. Now, also, right now, right, if you take a look uh, above us, we are very close to hitting the subscriber goal for the month of 765 subscribers at one point. If we can hit 765 concurrent subscribers by the end of July, the viewer's choice event will become a dual event. Where two games will be played as full playthroughs, where it'll be the top two games in the poll instead of just the game that wins the poll, will become full playthroughs. Now, this has worked out pretty well in the past. The last viewer's choice poll, the winner was Banjo Tooie, but then the second place was Fire Emblem Three Houses. See? So that worked out really well because we did a full Banjo Tooie playthrough and now we're playing Fire Emblem. So that's awesome. And by the way, I'm glad because Fire Emblem is a very good game. I'm really enjoying it. The combat in particular is very reminiscent of me, for me, of Final Fantasy Tactics, which is a series that I really liked. So I'm happy to be playing a game that's like that again. Um, so, you know, might want to consider subscribing to the channel. You get access to over 40 emotes and you don't have to watch ads. I would say, oh, you get a cool chat crown badge. Oops. Can't say that anymore. Because apparently anything can be false claimed and therefore the chat crowns don't even exist anymore. And I'm certainly not going to put up, uh, I'm certainly not going to put up another, you know, situation here where we use more chat, uh, chat stuff for subs until this thing's fucking resolved. Okay. So, but thank you to anyone who subs or gives the sub as well, because we had a lot of gifted subs yesterday. Um, only iced coffee went crazy basically. And so I'm going to give him a shout out in the, this morning about, you know, saying thanks because that was really nice of him to gift all those subs yesterday and try to get our numbers boosted to try to hit the goal. So we'll see what happens today. Okay. Um, outside of all that, I think that's pretty much all I've got to talk about. I'm sorry. I know I sound, ugh, I know I sound tired and defeated because I am, you know, I've told you guys, all I want to do is stream games and have fun. That's it. I don't want to get involved in any drama. I don't want to get involved in any kind of horse shit. I don't. I just want to play games and have fun with you guys. And I've been doing that for over three years here on Twitch. And now all of a sudden it seems like it could be all be taken away for no legitimate reason. And I'm just tired of it. I just want to I just want to have a good time and relax with you guys. And it really frustrates me that it seems a lot of other people on this planet are able to do that. And I can't. Everyone else can just stream and have fun. Have a good time. I can't do it. I got to be harassed. I got to have this shit happen to me for no reason. Again, another guy I never heard of. I have no idea who the fuck this is. It's a sociopathic I idiot who thinks they can just get away with whatever and they do it. Why? Because they can't. The only reason. Because they can get away with it. And what recourse do you have against someone who just wants to see the world burn? And they're anonymous. <laughs> That's the problem. <clears throat> All right, guys, let's do shout outs. Let, let's say thanks to those who have contributed here on the stream. And uh, then we're going to get ready to get started here with Ghost of Tsushima or Tsushima. I really enjoyed the game yesterday for the, the, the hour I got to play it. All right, so overnight, Rob on Wheels did a 500 bit cheers at Let's Start Saturday, right? Thank you very much, Rob on Wheels, for the overnight support. Also, Golden Colts did a series of cheers. In the first one, he said, Good luck on your first day back on Twitch. Um, and then he started seeing random 
random drinks like Diet Pepsi, Capri Sun Tropical Punch, and Tito's Vodka. Okay, then. Um, Sitco. Resubscribe to the channel for two months. It says, I stand with DSP. Thank you very much, Sitco. I appreciate that very much. Appreciate that. Humongous. Resubscribe for 29 months in a row. Thank you, Humongous, for the support. That is much appreciated. Cousins Ven is today's first cheerer. He says, uh, <laughs> he says, you have to give your current detractors a little credit right now. They haven't done shit like this to you. This is nuts. Well, here's the thing. All right. This is, and this is me being honest with all of you. All right. So I hope you guys will listen. And you know what? Even those who don't like me, listen up. Okay. In the past, there have been very destructive people trying to hurt me. You know, in 2015, when false copyright stuff happened against my YouTube channel, it literally crippled me. It made me have such a dip in income that it financially ruined me. And it wasn't until just recently with me filing bankruptcy that I was able to recover from that. Okay? That was awful. That was the worst thing that people had ever done to me. All right? But since then, all right, I built myself back up. I became a live streamer. You know, I got back on my own feet. And admittedly, even with the trolling and the stupid shit that happens, it's not so bad. I would say the worst thing that's happened is these people tried to basically make it so my bankruptcy wouldn't go through, even though they just made this shit up. They were making up so much slanderous shit about me and, send, you know, trying to spam people with it. And it didn't work, thank God, but man, did it make that process longer, more drawn out, and way more stressful for me than it should have been. That should have been a process that's like, okay, you qualify, rubber stamp, you're done. And instead it was, oh my God, now i got to jump through 40 billion fucking hoops because so many people were trying to make my life miserable. So not to say that people aren't trying to fuck with me constantly, because they are, all right? But when you actually look at people who say, oh, the biggest trolls, I don't consider... The people who restream me or the people who make videos to make fun of me on the internet as my biggest trolls at all. In reality, I think that that's a relationship that they want me to continue to exist because they want content. If I don't exist, they don't have any content. Me getting suspended from Twitch, you know, erroneously yesterday was the big thing for them. They were waiting for a big story to cover. This is the hottest thing for them to be talking about. Okay, um, so they don't want to see my channel get shut down permanently. They don't want to see me get banned from every site for horse shit. They like restreaming my content, you see? So even though these people don't like me, and obviously they benefit from, you know, rebroadcasting re my stuff in a very negative light, they're not malicious. You see what I'm saying? There's a difference between... Let's laugh at Phil and make a joke and make a buck doing it versus let's actually completely try to destroy Phil's life. There's a big difference there. And so I'm not going to hold any kind of a, a, a real nasty grudge or a toxic hatred towards those people because I don't feel that those people actually have that intention. Now, here's the thing, though, and this is sadly the, 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 just the matter of the fact is there are people who watch that kind of content and don't have the mental acuity or maturity to understand that. And so they'll watch someone like a Tevin or uh, who's the other guy that constantly restreams me. I can't remember his name. I've, I, a, or, or a content creator on YouTube like Memology 101 right? These guys who take all my stuff and make me look bad, they're doing it to, get, to basically get popularity for themselves. But it's not meant to be, like, serious. You know what I mean? Like, it's meant to be, let's laugh at Phil and have a joke at him or whatever. They don't actually want someone to come and hurt me. But th people then watch that content, people who aren't mature, people who don't have that level of understanding, it's just very black and white for them. It feels good or feels bad. Since this person says feels bad, that's it. I gotta ruin Phil's life now. That you know, That's not something that a normal person does or thinks, but that's how some people think. You know, so I don't think they realize it or if they do, they're just basically trying to say, well, I'm not responsible for it. But you got to understand that, that when you create that kind of toxic content, all right, it breeds more toxicity, even if you intended it or not. Right. Um, 
But that's the thing. I don't ex I don't believe that those people who make that kind of stuff are trying to hurt me. I don't believe that. I think they're just trying to to benefit by like I've said many times by riding my coattails and stuff. But they're not they don't want someone to, to to destroy my business. They don't want someone to come and physically, you know, threaten my family. They just want to make a buck. There's a big difference. Right? So you know, that's the thing. I, I agree, Cousins Van. I'm not saying, obviously, I don't agree with the stuff that they do. But at the same time, no. I don't think that anything that they do uh, is this kind of a threat to me. You know, this is my job. And you're basically saying you can't do your job anymore because of illegal activities towards you. You've done nothing wrong, but you're being illegally targeted for, for this kind of thing. They're not doing that. They're just trying to get a little bit of popularity and make a buck you know, by making fun of me. That's different. Okay? Very different. <laughs> that would be like saying, seriously, that would be like saying, people who made This Is How You Don't Play videos are the same as the pe the person who swatted me. Of course not. They're completely different things. They're completely different levels. You know, one's meant to poke fun and make fun and basically kind of call out the quality of my content. The other one's risking my life. Very fucking different. They're not the same. It's not apples to apples at all, and I know that. <clears throat> okay, uh, Ryan to me a dollar thirty, and says Superhelm threatened you again an hour ago on Twitter. Yes, oh I know. I already I already addressed it. He already did. He said there's more copyright stuff coming. So, like I said to you guys, it's very possible this channel will be suspended again for erroneous purposes. Twitch should protect me from it, but apparently they have no avenue to. So. Twitch will keep breaking the law because it is. It's illegal. You cannot enforce a false copyright takedown. It's against the law. You're basically saying that you checked and you, you know, I, I, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not. I'm just not. I'm so tired of it. Will Snipe for food subscribe for nine months? Thank you. Rectum, subscribe for six months. Thank you guys so much for the support. Ryan cheered. And said, you need to sue Superhound to keep him from doing this. He thinks he can hide behind a computer screen. Number one, I don't have money to do that. I'm just coming back from a bankruptcy and I'm trying to raise funds to pay my taxes and get on a tax plan for back taxes. I don't have funds. Maybe a couple years down the line, if I were in a much better financial position because I've now recovered and I keep doing well on streams like I'm doing now and everything, then I could consider it. I can't do that now, you know? Huh. <sighs> All right. Um, continuing on, Retro Gym cheers. I don't really use any other services than Twitch, and I don't. I wouldn't want you to move to another platform. I don't want to either. I told you guys, I love being here. The chat system is great. All right, I'm able to do what I want to do, and I have a following, a community here that I've built um, over the years. That's a very positive community. I'll be honest with you guys. When I came over here and I became a full time streamer, everything was insanely uncertain. I didn't know what was going to happen. I thought it could be the end for me. And you guys made this such a fun and positive experience and have supported me through thick and thin. And it's really grown and prospered and blossomed into something positive and super fun. Seriously. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that, guys. And understand, I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to leave Twitch. But if this is a situation where this is happening again and again and again, you know, I can't do business here. So, we gotta see what happens. Ninstar Rune cheered, and I sorry, Ninstar Rune, I can't say what you said because that would be against Twitch policy. It actually is because he references something with bits, and I can't say something like that. That's against Twitch policy. Okay, but thank you for the cheer. Knows nobody did a hundred bit cheer. He says, you know, playing this game, he must be talking about Ghost of Tsushima, feels unreal sometimes because how beautiful the graphics are. What a technical masterpiece! It makes me hype for the next gen. Well, don't get so hyped so soon, knows nobody. I'll tell you why, because. When these new consoles come out, sadly, I say within the first two years, you don't really get too many amazing experiences. You'll get some games that look good, but then don't play great. Or you'll get a game that plays great, but it looks like last gen. <laughs> you know, it's really not, I'd say, until like maybe it's be year three that new consoles start hitting their stride and you start seeing amazing games. Like people were so insanely hyped for the Order 1886 and look how that turned out, right? Okay. Um, 
Nose vacuum changes. Why do you let lawbreakers abuse your registered business? Because there's nothing I can do about it. There's no, there should be re legal protections and there should be a system in place by Twitch to stop abuse like this, but there's not. And what does that say? Obviously, I'll tell you what it says. It says it's unprofessional. There shouldn't be a system where someone can continuously abuse DMCA takedowns erroneously and then there's no recourse and there's no protection and when you try to get help, all right, when you try to get help, they close your logs without even reading them. <laughs> That's not professional. Uh, Dino shaped, oh, Dino shaped tendies. Subscribe to the channel. Oh my God. Thank you for the sub. Uh, Caesar the Fluff did a 510 bit cheer. Um, it says, unfortunately, you've dedicated trolls. And basically, there's nothing you can do. Copyright things are easy to abuse because companies like Twitch would rather just pull content than re risk legal action against them, right? But what they have to understand is something that, like, they can get sued for the other thing, too. And if you have someone who is systematically abusing a system, and there is concrete evidence, like in this case, this guy is publicly stating on Twitter that th he knows that these are this is taking place. It's obvious it's this guy. <laughs> You know, he's, he's, he's taking credit for striking my Twitter account before. All right. Outright. He's done this. He's taking credit for it. Um, you know, and still granting the claims. All right. That is definite, definite evidence of basically that, mis uh, you know, abusing the law and a Twitch basically ignores that that's negligence that's legal negligence you know so i don't know it, but it is it really is it's legal negligence all i want is someone to talk to at twitch and say here's the situation i need you to look into it and not be granting false claims that's it that's not too much to ask in fact i'm just asking them to abide by the law <laughs> the loudest fart we saw for 32 months and glad to see the channel's back let's celebrate with a 21 fart salute well there you go thank you loudest fart for the ongoing support um <clears throat> empress dairy subscribe to the channel thank you empress dairy nightman rl has resubscribed for five months thank you nightman chikata's cry has subscribed to the channel thank you for the sub chikata's cry we're gonna, we're gonna have to check on subs in a bit and see how we're how we're doing Retro Jim did 100-bit cheers, and most of the time when people who are detractors aren't going to go so far to abuse legal systems to hurt you, the people who do things like that are scum. Most people just want to see your reaction to a bit of banter or soft trolling. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. Retro Jim Chudy says, the YouTube algorithm bumps memeology and other channels of suggested videos if you watch DSP gaming content. That's correct. That's because that uh, algorithm is complete shit. Caesar the Fluff cheered again. He says, I really don't get why you don't submit counterclaims for all this stuff. I did. Here's the thing. On Twitter, I submitted counterclaims, all right? And only about two of them were actually uh, entertained. It was initially on Twitter when my first avatar and banner were taken down. I submitted counterclaims against... I think he, he, he put like eight things against me. He was trying to do everything. So I submitted all counterclaims. And basically, after about two or three days, Twitter finally responded to me and said, this has been granted. It's, it, these are all erroneous. And that was it. They didn't give me his info because his info is fake. The info that he puts is fake. He always just makes shit up completely. None of this is legit. It's not like he's making these claims with his real uh, name and address and phone number. He's doing it with completely fabricated shit. So it protects his identity. <clears throat> now in the case of Twitch, I can't do a counterclaim. Why? They never gave me the information. They struck my account with a DMCA takedown, suspended it, and never sent me notice to say what I did wrong. So if I don't know what's claimed, how do you submit a counterclaim? You can't. So Twitch's own system is completely broken. That's another thing too, like that's illegal too. If you're going to serve a DMCA takedown, you have to provide information legally, you have to. You can't take a legal action and not explain the enforcement of said action. So there's a lot of problems with this system, okay? VG Stuff Charity says, Twitch needs to protect my daddy. Well, you're a weirdo. Spartan King did a 200-bit cheer. 
Because think about how miserable of a person you have to be to want to hurt someone you don't even know. It's a pathetic existence. People like that need help. I hope they get it. We only have a relatively short time on the planet to spend it do doing things you love and make you happy. You should do that or else you'll never rest in peace. Well, there you go. Good take. Shui, 1994, cheers. I read something about you. Oh, no. That's not true. Ignore that. Ignore that nonsense. I got a, uh, a dollar thirty tip. PWW's law firm. He's a lot of people crowdfund legal defenses. Um, maybe we can get a crowdfund legal offense to fight false DMCA's. I mean, I don't know what it would be because I don't know the legality of it. Okay, we'd have to contact a lawyer who actually understands copyright law and see what that lawyer has to say about it. But that's not something I could be involved in because I don't have any money. <laughs> All right. Caesar the Fluff Charity says, legal costs are part of doing business. You can write it off as your business, uh, on your business taxes. Legal advice is a must otherwise. Again, I don't have the money. I don't have, I don't have any free funds to do this. Right now, every dollar, every dollar that I'm making is either going towards the cost of business, meaning, you know, cost of operating this business, or paying other bills behind the scenes, or cost of food for my family, or taxes. Taxes is the big thing. Right now, I have to pay my state taxes. My quarterly state taxes are due by the end of this month. I have to pay that. I also have to pay a big-ass retainer to my tax accountant slash lawyer because he's going to be working with the feds to reestablish my payment plan for my back taxes that I haven't paid. Okay? So all that has to happen by the end of this month. Plus, I still have to keep paying my bills and everything. Okay? Those all, like, incredibly increased costs. I know people are like, oh, but the vest streak every day. That money literally goes to important things every day. That's not money. That's extra money that's sitting around. I have to, I have to tell you guys, operating a business is not cheap. And all this stuff behind the scenes is very expensive. Okay? <laughs> I hope you understand that. Of course, most people don't. They just think that, oh, every dollar Phil makes is just spending money for him to go blow on something. There's a reason why I'm still wearing the same clothes from 10 years ago. <laughs> you know? Um told you guys, when I moved out here, things changed a lot for me. My whole life changed. It's not like me being back in Connecticut and having all this extra money being a big YouTuber and fr living frivolously. It's very different here now, okay? I don't have funds for this right now, okay? I don't. I don't have any funds to look into this. I wish I did. Like I said, if someone wants to put me in contact with someone at Twitch so I can deal with it directly, I'd love that. If someone could want to put me in contact with some kind of a lawyer who wants to handle this pro bono or maybe, you know, looking into class action for this kind of shit. Fine, I guess. But I can't do anything on my own. I can't. Last Rambo Charity says, bits are part of Twitch. You're not allowed to talk about them. How does that make sense? Yeah. So, I, I, you know, I've said this before. I'll say this as generally as I can. Okay? Twitch has this... I don't even know how to really describe it, but it's, it's, a, it's a, a policy that you cannot really talk about bits um, in certain ways at all, all right? You cannot ask for bits. Can't do that on a channel. That's not allowed. Um, and you can't bring up bits in any kind of a way, like uh, trying to raise bits or anything like that. That's not allowed on Twitch. Um, and other things, too. You know, bits are not legal currency, You'll notice I've said that a lot. Bits are not legal currency. <laughs> there's a reason I say that. Because of the Twitch policy. Okay? So, yeah, there's... I don't know. You'd have to ask... Again, you have to ask a, a lawyer at Twitch why they, that this policy is in place and why these, there's these regulations on how you can reference bits. But, you know, that's why I always talk about them in a certain way and sometimes I can't even say things that people say in a cheer or whatever because I am limited to what I can say about them. Okay? CJ Euphoria resubscribed for a whopping 45 months of support. Okay? Thank you, CJ Euphoria. I appreciate that. Oh, my God. Excuse me. Whew. Nose vacuum. Did a 100-bit cheering says, I don't understand. In the USA, is, is it the responsibility of an owner of a business to protect it? Who's supposed to protect you? That, what you're saying makes no sense at all. None. Zero. Because... There's no way to 100% be protected from, from illegal action. It's just not possible. The whole point is there's supposed to be laws in effect to protect businesses from illegal action. 
not a business somehow fortifies protections around it. That's ludicrous what you're saying. It doesn't make any sense. Cousins Venture says, is that the real Superhound in the chat? I have no idea. I'm not looking. Uh, I'm just doing pre-stream. I have no idea. Resper to me, $5. So glad you're back. 2020 has been a tough year. I mean, yeah, you know, this has been a challenging year for sure. For various reasons. Um, <clears throat> and it's just like someone said the other day. You know, when I did Ask the King last week, I said, for me, my, my life is a series of highs and lows. The past few months have been a high high because the streams have been doing great. The support for the Vest Streak has been outstanding. Everything's been going good. So, it was like, oh, it's time for some bullshit. And here's the bullshit, right? Okay. All right, guys. Let's do some more quick shout-outs for the top cheers of the week. The top sub-gifters of the week. Then we're going to take a break for me to use the restroom. And then we're going to get to the game. Okay? All right. Let us... Do some uh, shout outs. We've got Rob on Wheels and Jay Bowler tied for ninth. Sambuca is in eighth. I killed Phil's in seventh. Crab Cox in sixth. A phantom name who I can't read is in fifth. So apparently this person probably got themselves banned or completely deleted their account from Twitch. One or the other. Fourth place is Shadow the Hedgehog. Third place, Mature Adult with Biz Degree. Second place, Shirtless Mofo. And in first place, Only Ice Coffee. Thank you guys. <clears throat> Thank you to those who gifted subs this week. Including Cactus God, Zardoz Fan, El Nice Gallo, Kyle, and Shia LaBeouf, who each gifted a single sub. Internet Famous McCroy and Big D's each gifted two. Lunaba gifted three subs. Tomahawk MCX gifted three subs. And only Iced Coffee. 42 subscriptions. Thank you guys very much for that. All right. I gotta use the bathroom. Let's take a short break. I'll play a little bit more music. And then when I come back, we'll actually play the game and see how long the stream could stay on. All right? It'll be, it'll be the challenge. Everyone take bets. Everyone takes some bets on how long the stream will stay on before I get suspended for another false takedown. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Thanks. <laughs> 